It's hard to imagine life without cars. They take us where we need to go, whether we're embarking on a road trip, food run, or daily commute. Without automobiles, our routines would be drastically different and the layouts of our roadways, towns, and cities would be unrecognizable. Every so often, new technologies promise to revolutionize the way we think, act, and live. But usually these new developments barely register with the general public. Well, these new achievements are in the works and they promise to change the way you think about travel. That's right, the hub has scoured the web and peered into the future to find these 10 amazing gadgets that will replace cars. And as you drive with us on this sightseeing journey, be sure to click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest technological achievements and discoveries just around the corner. Nuclear Powered Cars Scientists have been pondering how to create nuclear-powered cars for decades. It's simply been proposed because nuclear power is seen as a cleaner and more effective energy source than fossil fuels. Yes, it's nuclear, but that doesn't mean that a simple car accident would lead to a massive fusion reaction. Imagine being able to drive at faster speeds and not having to fill up the tank for years and years. Once implemented in cars, it would also be beneficial for boats and planes as well. Consider that just 15 standard cargo ships contribute as much pollution as all of the cars on Earth combined. The last time serious discussions were publicly held over the developing of a nuclear car was 1958 at the height of the Cold War. At the time, no nuclear reactor was yet small enough to fit into the hood of a car. Currently, that's still the case. The smallest nuclear reactors are still around 50 tons, mostly due to the metal needed to protect the core of the device. Still, NASA is working on a small-sized reactor that would fit snugly into a commuter vehicle. It hasn't been developed yet, but someday, we could all be in cars that you could only dream of driving driving in video games. Rhino Microcycle Another tiny but less controversial personal transport is the Rhino Microcycle. This motorized unicycle has all the physical appearance of a kick and bike without the extra weight of a second wheel. It may seem like it belongs in a sci-fi film, but that's because it actually originated after the designer Chris Hoffman's 13-year-old daughter saw it in one. She asked her father if it was possible for such a device to exist, and that inspired him to build one for her. After six years of developing the design and cobbling together affordable parts, the Rhino, short for Ride Your Own Opportunity, debuted. Headquartered in Portland, the Rhino received some good press when it made a cameo on the sketch comedy show Portlandia. And while the manufacturers want their consumers to get the most out of their product, they stress that riders should check ordinance laws before riding around their town. But the bike is designed to be able to mingle comfortably amongst crowded pedestrian walkways and move briskly down bike lanes. It has a 10 mile driving radius with each charge and drives up to 10 miles per hour. And as a unicycle, it's easy to use for your morning commute if your office is nearby and can simply be stored in your workspace area. Organic Transit's ELF Another ideal method of travel for those living in urban environments is the ELF, short for Electric Light Fun. It's more for those of you looking to conserve natural resources and expend some of your physical energy. This glorified motorized tricycle is enclosed in a frame made of aluminum that can shield riders from the elements if needed. With top speeds of 20 miles per hour, it's well within the legal limit for bicycles in the United States. If you want to sit back and let the Elf's engine power your journey forward, then that's up to you. But you also have the option to pedal yourself if you want to power the 150 pound vehicle with your own strength. And since it's produced using sustainable materials, you can feel like you're reducing your carbon footprint while still briskly heading toward your next destination. With wheels six inches longer than your average bike, an adjustable seat with back support, and a windshield with the ability to reflect your phone screen back to you if your phone's on the dashboard, this single rider bike is the perfect tool for you to be a mobile and environmentally sensitive driver of the future. Apple Car Speaking of phones on the dashboard, soon you may not need any devices up there as it might become both your number one communication device and driving apparatus. Steve Jobs' Apple company has come a long way from the experiments taking place in Jobs' garage. As an industry leader in computing, telecommunications, and a growing share in payment technologies, Apple looks to be expanding into automotive transportation as well. Recently, Apple hired talent from NASA to help them develop their self-driving car. They now have approval from the California DMV for several employees to take prototype vehicles on the road. With changes to the rules governing self-driving cars now placed before the California state legislature, 
there's a chance Apple will be able to complete testing faster than expected. Competitors like Tesla and Uber are also challenging the laws, stating that while safety of the riders should be of the utmost importance, the sooner the prototypes get on the roads, the sooner these wheels can get into the hands of paying consumers. Once the self-driving cars are on the market, maybe they'll develop windshields that turn into movie screens where there's no need to pay attention to the road, and every seat in the car is the best seat in the house. GM Envy General Motors has its own self-driving initiative currently in the test stages. According to GM's statement, they developed the Envy to show the possibilities for alleviating concerns surrounding traffic congestion, parking availability, air quality, and affordability for tomorrow's cities. Taking advantage of a city's interconnected network, the Envy utilizes the internet to track the most up-to-date changes in weather and traffic patterns. This ensures its passenger has the most calm and direct driving experience around. Shaped like a cryogenic freezing chamber, it has two visible wheels on the side with a thin upright shape that allows for easy parking and maneuverability. GM proposes that these two-seater vehicles would be ideal for passengers too young to drive legally or too old to drive safely. It could get the children to school on time when their parents are too busy and it could allow the elderly to avoid being stuck in the house. GM's Director of Advanced Technology has declared intentions to find these self-driving vehicles a place on the roads beside human-operated cars as well as city centers where normal automobiles are prohibited. From the sound of it, there's something in the envy for everyone to envy. Sidewinding Circular Skates if you need to get to a nearby location fast and can't find your car keys, then slip these totally tubular sidewinding circular skates onto each foot. The sidewinding circular skates are basically a skateboard without the board. By placing one foot into the center of each wheel, you have two wheels extending as close to or as far apart as you desire. If you want to slide down a hill as if you're on a snowboard, then just keep your feet a snowboard's distance apart and off you go. Get moving by leaning into your 10 inch rubber wheels from side to side. If you need to come to a stop, just lean your foot forward and touch your toes to the ground. If you want some extra training, a detachable rod can connect both wheels together, but Hammacker Schlemmer's sidewinding circular skates work best when you're able to move in them, unhinged. Sure, it's not ideal for long distance travel, but they afford you a ton of mobility, allowing you to zigzag around pedestrians and execute 720 degree turns. So turn yourself around, head to the store, and consider this a worthwhile investment to take you between home and school, home and work, or home and the nearest hill. Mac High Speed Bus. Boasting a speedier, roomier, and more environmentally friendly alternative to Metropolitan Transit Authority's current options, the Mack High Speed Bus will make you want to skip the subway and head above ground. With electrified motors, this bus is fueled by hydrogen and an ahead-of-its-time suspension system taking all of the bumps out of the potholed road travel you'll often find in cities and interstates. Originally proposed as an alternative to the charter bus, the Max concept team imagined this as the perfect vehicle with which to take large groups across country or to various touring destinations. But once the city streets are adapted to self-driving cars and other resources available, can't you imagine speeding through crowded city centers in a comfortable and safe Mac high-speed bus? No matter the destination or the location, the Mac is expected to have a body made of monoco carbon fibers, a metal that's stronger and lighter than most others out there. And the driver's seat and steering wheel are placed in the center of the dashboard, so it looks more like the driver is piloting a spaceship. Who doesn't want to feel like they're going into space, especially when they're stuck on a bus for several hours. Mono Tracer If you want to speed down the roads in style, and you don't want to be crammed into a speedy bus with 50 other people, you may want to invest in the futuristic Mono Tracer. This enclosed motorcycle can slide across the highway like some kind of police land speeder as he tries to pull you over for going three sound barriers over the legal limit. Known in the industry as a feet forward motorcycle, the modern version of this type of vehicle first appeared in 1975 as the Quasar. But it's so rare, you probably haven't seen it in action before. The sleek Paravez Mono Tracer took the upsides of older designs, interior cabin keeps the driver and passenger safer from outside elements and falls, while adding attractive lines and angles to give it a singular and cinematic look. When moving slowly, stabilizer wheels protrude on either side of the back wheel to keep the vehicle from tipping over. The Tracer can reach speeds similar to a standard motorcycle, and the newer fully electric motor allows for a quiet and smooth ride. Due to their price, current models can be expensive, but if they manufacture cheaper devices, you may start seeing more of these out and about. Power Roads 
As electric cars gain popularity, expect to see more developments like this one. Researchers in Seoul, South Korea have devised a way to make electric cars charge without stopping. By burying cables beneath roads, electric cars traveling over the wires will receive the charge they need. This process was initially tested with the Seoul Transit System as a means to make their buses more environmentally friendly. In bringing the method to cars, South Korea's Transportation Ministry plans on placing recharging strips underground. When a sensor on a car passes over the embedded sensor on the recharging strip, the vehicle will receive a charge for the duration it drives above said strip. Referred to as OLEV, or Online Electric Vehicle, these strips will limit travel times, increase interest in electric automobiles, and decrease dependence on fossil fuels. As a result of this proposed technology, electric batteries would only need to be a fifth of their current, more cumbersome size. While such an undertaking would be an expensive venture were it to happen in America, you can bet that someday, maybe in the next 10 years, we'll start seeing test roads full of buried chargers. Flying Cars M400 And now, the car of everyone's dreams, the M400. This flying car can make your wildest Jetson-inspired fantasies come true. Since 1963, the Moeller Company has been tinkering away at their plans to build the first mass-produced sky car. Could they be on the brink of creating a successful and marketable prototype? There's no doubt that the unsinkable Paul Moeller, who's been spearheading the attempts of creating a flying car, has the determination to see his original ideas become a reality. At age 15, for instance, he built his very own helicopter out of materials he cobbled together. Crude, yes, but how many of you tried building a flying device when you were sophomores in high school? According to Paul, the difficulty in creating a functioning flying car is building a vehicle that can take off from a small drive driveway and still generate the force needed to sustain flight. With that acquisition, he's been striving to build a sky car that can fit four passengers, travel up to 350 miles per hour, up to 25,000 feet in the air, within a 750 mile radius. Hopefully, sometime soon, we'll all be living in a floating sky city so we can greet Paul Moeller at his level. Thanks for joining us on this road trip to the future. After we stop, stretch your legs, have a snack, and then come on back to the hub for another ride. Here at the hub, we'll be your GPS, guiding you to more breathtaking sights and fascinating scientific breakthroughs that our world has to offer.